Good morning. I'm Mackenzie Schultz with your morning update. San Angelo's new Heritage Park downtown was the location for a memorial dedication on Wednesday. San Angelo's Nord Gein died two years ago at the age of 84. Gein was known for her support of the local square dance community. Wednesday, her husband John and Concha Valley Square dancers dedicated an oak tree and bronze plaque in her memory. Um, she was the highlight of the company, of, of the promenade squares. She was, um, like Dan said, very formidable. You know, if you did make a mistake, she was right there to, to show you how, to teach you how to do it the proper way. Um, she says Norgeen supported square dancing for more than 25 years. People in the Concha Valley who help young victims of domestic and family violence learned how to care for themselves on Wednesday. They heard from an expert in vicarious trauma during a seminar at the county library. The Children's Advocacy Center organized the training session for children welfare professionals who are exposed to trauma at work. This was one of those days students look forward to at Grape Creek High School Wednesday. Students had the chance to launch tomatoes at their science teacher. It's the culmination of a six-week science project where students learn about the principles of physics. They actually designed machines for their annual weapons of war contest. The goal is to hit a target with a tomato launched from a catapult that's at least 30 meters away. Across the Concha Valley this weekend, dozens of volunteers will be out on area roadways for the annual litter cleanup campaign. It's for the annual Great American Trash Off. They Don't Mess With Texas campaign is a more than 30-year tradition. And now let's see what's happening in weather with Noel. Noel, it was pretty windy last night. Will it stay like that today? Good morning, William. Well, I have to crank up the AC later on today. 85 degrees under bright and sunny skies. They will also look at that northwest wind on the light side at 5 to 10 miles per hour behind that weak cold front we had moved through earlier today. 54 degrees, partly cloudy and cool as we head into the evening hours and then moving forward into Friday. Mostly sunny skies, strong to severe storms could be possible as we head into the evening and early Saturday. We'll also see highs topping out at about 87 degrees. Here's a look at that 7 day forecast back into the upper 80s possible Friday. Strong to severe storms could be possible Friday evening and early. Saturday morning.